Hello there, there is the most popular style of game now, and I mean, the mode of game now. But I think that Battlefield 6 or Battlefield 2021 has a great potential of switching to their... switching the tide in their favor with the game mode. In, in my opinion, they can learn a lot from Warzone. Yes, Warzone, their rival, which is the most popular BR at the moment, can influence Battlefield in a good way. And now that I said that, I want to point a few things that Battlefield can do better than Warzone. Class system in the new Battlefield BR. Just picture it having the perfect squad with an Assault, Engineer, Sport and Recon. These classes have special perks in Assault. Assault can be the medic of the squad who gives bandages and revives down and dead teammates. Yes, dead with quotation marks because, well, Warzone has the revival by buying someone's life, but how about carrying the body and actually reviving it with a tool that you have, let's say, s small amount of revives for your teammates? The engineer guy who repairs tanks, destroys, but also can build advanced fortifications. Yes, I think the fortification system from Battlefield 5 can return in a much better glory in the modern settings. I think the next Battlefield is going to be modern. I don't know why my intuition is telling me that, the leaks are telling that, I think this is gonna be very good. Now we can have of course the support who everybody knows him what he's gonna do if you play the old Battlefield games, you know, machine gun blazing, giving you uh, ammo, placing C4, this type of stuff. Recon guy can be just the reconnaissance also detecting what class of the enemy is having these gadgets and also maybe he can make the beacon the beacon spawn point is something that came at the moment in my mind while reading this and i think it can be an amazing tool to bring back let's say you can buy them from a station let's say they copy the station mechanic from warzone now that can be an amazing opportunity for them to have like okay you i buy you from the station but you can choose to respawn from the beacon or you can come from the beacon uh, from the uh, station that we bought you. at the moment i do not know what to say about this but it's a very interesting idea that being said the game should have vehicle like tanks choppers that will be for squads cars and motorcycles light apcs you know for solos and tools cars and motorcycles like the damage multiplier and everything for the rpg i think you should not make a, a tank okay from the front should take three to four rpgs but from the side maybe two or maximum three with reinforced armor uh, let's say from the back one because and also the engine tracks being retracted so the tank cannot move with the boat tracks at the moment two red malfunction everything this should be incorporated in the new battlefield but I think they will not be and this is my point why they will not be incorporated in the next battlefield this advance more mechanics one It's gonna be because battlefield. It's a casual game Yes, you heard me right battlefield. It's a casual game So it will not have this crowd of you know, I want the super hyper realistic with uh, Tracks falling off a guy on the radio limited vision when I'm going into the tank. Nobody's gonna want that so I think this are gonna be a bad thing, but we'll see. Maybe they can implement something better. Helicopter should have, uh, of course, I think two things. They are mainly for transport, moving from areas fast. And also light, you know, light firepower in a way that we can make it work. Let's say some machine guns, 50 cals, not... Uh, uh, rockets or anything or maybe you can just buy the best helicopter but in the end everybody's gonna be with stingers the engineers will have stingers and rockets to take you down but how many squads now that would be a very interesting put to test you know to have like an attack helicopter that can only be two people so i think attack helicopter cannot be in solos and duos that's one thing for sure the, that should be eliminated and not trios, I think only for squads of four. That's it. More the game should have a launch of airplanes. Uh, I think one thing it's bad with the 
genre of uh, BR is that okay I'm gonna get you all in one fucking plane and I'm just gonna toss you off and you guys are gonna be like okay let's go everybody jump out of the plane but what if there are multiple planes that connect in one point to make the map more populated and shrink down and try to make it as another way also i think that the best way to put this and actually make it is for the circle the circle should not be shrinking down i think it should be shrinking and moving yes you heard me right shrinking and moving now that would be a very good thing for this to happen because this will eliminate camping a lot more and also will make people to be on the move all the time now that being said destruction should also play a major role in this br at the moment to not make the people feel like okay i'm gonna camp this corner i'm gonna camp this side of the house think about destruction making the game more dynamic but i mean real destruction i mean like actually blowing down a building just crumbling over the enemy you can maybe put some c4s okay i know this squad in, in this so the other squads are gonna fire and i'm gonna play some c4 and i'm just gonna destroy the house with them inside that can be a very viable option i think now i think armor plates because i've seen battlefield use it warzone use it and they use a very simple and not meaningful way of armor and also i don't think PUBG also has the best idea of armor so i'm just gonna say now i think uh, battlefield can do with uh, classes of armor yes i mean classes of armor not uh, you know let's say okay i have three plates no a class of armor light where the guy is very fast moving fast and also cannot protect himself very much like he will have just the chest and torso area protected but the others will take full on damage from the bullets and it's also going to be very easily penetrated by snipers and mmgs or maybe you can have a medium armor which cuts off a bit of the mobility of your character but in the end it makes you uh, more protected well-rounded let's say more of your body parts and also you have a helmet and well why not throw a heavy system where the guy it's literally a tank moving a soldier that is like a freaking tank and moves on now those are should be an amazing opportunities for making an interesting br Man, many people i think will not play it and it's gonna be a bit harder to balance by the That's dice in ea but i think that can work that can really really put something up for a good game and make it i don't know guys i really think they should try to implement this and should make it it's like crazy also the double time movement fast and also uh, gun placement around to have let's say a good mobility and everything i think this should be what they should focus also the map should have like look at warzone map and many people are gonna say well warzone map what is about verdansk verdansk it's a well thought out map it has a big city with big skyscrapers it has wild uh, wild yeah wildlands yes forest farms everything so it can have different endings in different zones that's what they should do also with the map they should make it as diverse as possible and i think that's a few things that i have to say about the new vr they could actually i think battlefield at this moment has the potential to take over the vr zone if they play their cards right now if they will do that and they will achieve that that is to be seen in the next few months let's just not forget how bad battlefield 5 was to marketing and other things i think battlefield 5 was a good game while poorly optimized i think battlefield 5 should have had more understandable by the game i think many people do not say this but Battlefield 5, I think, fixed a lot of problems from Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. 
Battlefield 1 added some more problems that have been taken out from it, thank god. And I think this is my opinion about the game. It's not that the game it's good, the movement, the body and everything. It's just that they needed to step it up. That's it. Just step it up a bit more. Not much, a bit more. So that that's my opinion about the game. And I think you guys liked or disliked. Say what I said wrong in the comments, please. It uh, will be a very big help for me and also for you to understand and please if you guys have an idea please post it down maybe you can help the developers understand but at the moment it's very late already in development of the game like most of the nails should be put in for the game the game is going to be finished this year so that means they already work for two years on the game most likely i hope you guys enjoy this and also one thing to say Please make it 200 players, but, uh, Battle Royale. I know Battlefield can support big maps and big players. We've seen their servers, how good they work. You can do that on 60 Hz. I believe in you, Battlefield. Well, without further ado, I'm out. Bye. See ya.